Greetings, Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And if you have been keeping up with the uh, CyanogenMod 9 nightly releases, you'll uh, probably have noticed that they've added some interesting new features, and I'm going to show you them here now. Uh, the nightly build that I'm referring to is the May 8th build. Uh, that's uh, today, actually. And uh, what we have here is they've actually included a, uh, a feature that if you were a CyanogenMod 7 user, you uh, probably are familiar with it. It's the theme chooser. Now, the CyanogenMod 9 up to this point has not had the theme chooser, and so I'm going to demonstrate for you now how this works. So I have here CyanogenMod 9. It's a nightly build. Uh, the May 8th nightly build and I'm going to go in here to the uh, settings and in the settings here, you'll notice that uh, you have the uh, launcher, which we're used to using, the trebuchet launcher, and there's themes. And when you hit themes, you, depending on your device and depending on uh, what you've loaded, uh, you'll probably see the system default. And uh, what I have done is I've gone out and found uh, two other themes that work here for my HP touchpad. Now, since the CyanogenMod 9 theme chooser is relatively new, uh, there are not a lot of themes out there yet. Now, I know the CyanogenMod 7 theme chooser had quite a number of themes available, so I'm anticipating that over the course of uh, the next few days or weeks that there will be more themes available for you. So what I've done here is I've gone out and I've downloaded a few of them. Let me show you here. I have one that I found called uh, Hollow Purple, and then I also have one that's uh, Androidian. And uh, let me just demonstrate for you here first the uh, the system default, which if you look now, uh, my current setup here is basically system default, but I've set myself up a custom wallpaper. And you'll notice that uh, you've got white and you've got blue, and everything is very uh, very generic and static looking. So if I go into settings here, you'll notice everything's blue, um, very, very generic looking. So if I go into themes, and I'm just going to choose the Androidian first, and I'm going to hit apply. Now these themes come as an APK file. That APK file is just installed from your file explorer or whatever. You'll download the APK and then uh, load it. And I'll, I'll put a link to a few of them that I have found so far in the description of the video and also on my website, reverendkyle.com. You'll notice here that now everything has changed to green. So instead of the blue here, I now have green. Uh, over here, uh, the clock is uh, still kind of your generic white, but if I go home, I now have the background, the wallpaper that came along with the theme, and down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that my clock and my Wi-Fi signal and my battery are all now green. So if I go back into settings, you'll also notice some other things such as the icons. For example, the browser icon has now green uh, instead of blue, the calendar. Uh, depending on what the themer has chosen to change is what you'll end up getting here. Uh, let me go back into my settings and I'm going to go to themes and this time I'm going to install the hollow purple. Okay, so now I have this very uh, vibrant purple uh, for the buttons and whatnot, and uh, you'll also notice that my clock is now purple along with my battery and my Wi-Fi. If I go into my home, uh, this theme obviously does not have a background included, so it did not change my background. And if I go into my settings, uh, let's see here, has anything else gone? purple. It does look like the settings icon has a small tint of purple as well. These themes are very subtle. Uh, I have seen some that actually change the uh, the home and the back buttons and I'm hoping to see those types of themes, themes pop up over the course of the next couple weeks. Uh, I am going to go actually back into my settings and I'm going to go back into themes and I'm going to set the system default and you'll notice all of the purples have gone back to a uh, standard ICS blue along with my clock and Wi-Fi uh, battery symbols. And then the background is also now the standard ICS background.
So that's one thing that they've added with the new CyanogenMod 9 uh, nightly builds as of today. Let me show you another thing that's actually kind of fun. I'm going to turn my tablet off. And then when I turn it back on, on my lock screen here, if I go to unlock, we're used to seeing the unlock in the camera, but you'll also notice I have the calculator and my Gmail. So if I go up to calculator here, it brings up the calculator immediately without having to go into the home screen then into the launcher. And that's something that we call shortcuts on your lock screen. And that's another feature that has been added recently to the CyanogenMod 9 nightly build. So let's go into settings and then into system at which point we go to lock screen and then there is a new setting here called lock screen shortcut so if I click on that you'll notice it says drag the slider to targets to assign shortcuts and I've already done two as you've seen so you notice that you have basically six of them that you can preset so I've already preset the calculator and the um, the, the Gmail let's go up to this one here I'm gonna drag the, my item up to this which is empty currently and let go and it shows empty so I choose the empty and it gives me an option to choose what I'm gonna put here I have a specific bookmark maybe that I want to go to or I have my Dropbox folder or a music playlist or something of that nature tap -and talk forms I'm gonna go into applications here and it gives me a list of all the applications so let's say for example uh, I go to let's see here Let's say I go to Facebook quite a bit, which I do. So I'm going to choose Facebook, and it's going to make that my selection, and I press OK. So now I have Facebook in the upper right-hand corner of my lock screen. Let me put one more in. I'm going to put the bottom left here, go into Empty, go into Applications, and uh, I will just put, let's see here, what should I put? Hmm, I have an idea. The Rev TV forum uh, application. So I'm going to put the Rev TV application in the bottom left. Okay, so now if I, now this is, this is very important because I missed this the first time. There is a save up in the top right hand corner. If you don't save it, everything you just set up goes away. So be sure to hit the save button in the top right hand corner. It'll say lock screen shortcut saved. You go back to home and turn your device off. And when you turn it back on, on your lock screen, you will now have Facebook and the Rev TV uh, Android app, which I'll go into now. And there we have it. So I didn't have to do anything other than select it from the lock screen. This is a very fun feature. Other ICS builds for other devices have it. And now CyanogenMon 9 uh, has that as well. So we have the lock screen shortcuts. And now we also have the uh, theme chooser. And like I said, I anticipate themes uh, start to come out of the woodwork over the next week or so. Uh, I look forward to loading some of your uh, themes very shortly on on my touchpad. So this has been Reverend Kyle showing you the new features in the Synergy Mod nightly build on my HP touchpad.